Hello and welcome to the 8th episode in this video series on natural language processing with Python. In this video we're going to go over NLTK's tokenizer. So when we get text in a lot of cases what we receive in as input that we're going to go and analyze is simply just one massive string. And this is okay if you just want to print out something However, if you want to do some analysis, we have to start breaking up that information. And today we're going to go over how we can break up each individual word and sentence. So we're going to take a string and we can either segment it by words, individual words, or by sentences. And today I'm going to be using a Wikipedia API. And I'll put a link in the description to a introduction on how to install that and if you're familiar with pip the module is just called wikipedia so i'm going to use that to be able to grab text so let's go ahead and get started so first um, from nltk we're going to use the tokenizer module so we'll go um, from nltk dot tokenize And we're just going to import two um, methods. We're going to import um, word word tokenize and sent tokenize. Yep. And then to import the Wikipedia module. I'm just going to go import Wikipedia as wiki. Okay. So first, let's see what the string will look at before we will do any kind of tokenization. So let's look up um we'll look up cat. So I'll go wiki under our cat equals uh, wiki dot summary so that will give us uh, the introductory paragraph to a wikipedia article and I'll go cat okay and just to return that see we get one massive string notice there's one set of quotes here ending here it's one value and we'll confirm in a moment that it's just a string but see we get here the article so a domestic cat and its scientific name is a small typically furry carnivore carnivor, carnivorous mammal okay awesome so we have that and let me grab that variable name So let's say that we wanted to analyze um, the words or we wanted to pick out some information and we wanted to search on terms. One way to do that, we would want to break this string and, and we'll go ahead and confirm that it is just a string by using the type built-in function. So we get class string. Okay. Now let's break it up by word. So in order to do this, we're going to use the methods that we imported. So what we're going to do is go, um, I'm going to preface it with um, toke for tokenizer and then word because it's going to be, a, we're using tokenize and we're using, and we're breaking it into words and then I'll do underbar cats. And I'll set that equal or assign it to um, we'll go word underbar tokenize and the name of the article. Oops. Okay. 
So here we go. Now you can see that it's a list and it's broken into individual words. And also punctuation. That's something important to note. So notice that the quotation around the scientific name is one entry in this list of information. So if we went here and I go toke wordcat and I print out the first couple of values notice we just get the first few words and some of the punctuation marks okay that's still valuable uh, or I should say that's valuable depending on your application however let's say we wanted to grab the sentences and um, we wanted to use the we wanted to tokenize and group by sentence in order to print out large sections or try to locate maybe paragraphs um, within a text maybe this is a, a better approach so we want to use sent tokenize which is what we imported okay so I'm gonna grab the raw string that I imported which is wikicat and then I'm gonna use sent tokenize so I'll follow <clears throat> the same naming convention toke and use sent I'll do this toke sent and then cat and then go ahead and go um, sent underbar tokenize and then wikicat and then here we go so here notice that the list is now separated by sentence and it does a pretty good job I'll go ahead and go and print out the first sentence and you could print out or I can print out a few more so there we go it's broken up and the what's nice about using the tokenize um, code is that it has some intelligence built in so there are cases when periods mean the end of a sentence and then there are cases where the period could be an abbreviation or something like that so let's see an example um, in Wikipedia sometimes there's dates and then there'll be um, periods between them so let's look up uh, King Tut why not um, we'll go I'll go ahead and go tut under bar wiki and go wiki dot summary and do the literal quotes and go king tut okay I think that should be good alright so I'll print that out now see here we got some um, yeah we have a couple of instances where there's a period followed by other text but it's not the end of a sentence it's signifying an abbreviation alright so let's see let's put the tokenize up to the test so I want to go toke sent then underbar tut set that equal to sent underbar tokenize and go tut underbar wiki okay so the point where we could have um, an error is in within the first sentence so I'll print that out so we can see that oops let's do that again and then go
Okay. So it's the first sentence of the summary of King Tut from Wikipedia, and it did pass the test where it doesn't just blindly accept that the period is always the end of a sentence. So that's a pretty cool feature. This tokenize has some intelligence built into it, and we can group by sentences or words. And this is a great way to get introduced to how we can break up our text and start categorizing it depending on our applications. So thank you for watching this video. I hope you learn more about tokenize from NLTK and how you can use it. Stay tuned for more content and I'll see you in the next video.